It's about that time of day again. It better be about that time of day again. It better be about that time of day again. Welcome back to your nightly newsletter, boys and girls. My name is Joseph James. It's Monday evening, March 23rd, 2015. In tonight's newsletter, markets kind of little slippery here today as we got back to the action after the quadruple witching traders holiday, which we talked about last week. How about crude oil? Crude's looking pretty bullish, right? We're talking about this this afternoon. It seems like rollover has given these buyers just a glimmer of hope to get back to that $50 a barrel. We see long-term and short-term channels on crude oil. We're looking to buy those dips on crude oil. Stay tuned for more on that. How about the gold? We got more bullishness. Even gold is bullish here today. We see more channels, bull channels on gold. And we're going to be paying close attention to those fresh highs we made today on gold because the volume is giving us a really big clue. Are we going back to 1200 on gold? We'll take a look at that in just a moment. And how about the Russell? Another bullish market. The Russell is bullish after a few days of profit taking there last week. We're back to the bullish section here or bullish trend on the Russell. We're focused on buying support levels on the pullbacks, but we have a trading range that we need to be aware of on that Russell. So stay tuned for more if you trade in the E-minis. Everything across the board, very bullish. As you can see this evening, we have a great newsletter for you guys and gals. But before we begin, you know how we roll around here. Want to make sure you guys remember to watch this video on our trading blog here at SidewaysMarkets.com. There are three reasons why you got to get yourself over here to SidewaysMarkets.com and make sure you're watching this newsletter on our trading blog. If you're watching the video right now on our YouTube page, great spot to be to learn more about how we trade. But there's a, there's a link below the video, right in the video description, and that will take you right over to our trading blog. Three reasons. First of all, you can download all the charts for tonight by following that link right below the video today. Right, So grab all my charts, download those charts, have them ready for you to use tomorrow, wherever you happen to be trading from tomorrow. Second thing here, I've got a free pass for you. Come out and join me in our trade room. You don't have to be a member. I want to give you an opportunity to test drive our live trade room, see what it feels like to be in our trade room. If you're not a member of School of Trade and you're curious about what it feels like to be in our trade room, Right, come out and join us, get a free pass for you, upper left-hand corner. And then last thing here, third reason why you should be watching this video on our trading blog, we have a nightly newsletter mailing list. That's right, no more waiting around for the video to post, no more guessing games. Now you're going to know exactly when that newsletter is ready to be watched and consumed and used for your trading. Just give me your name and your email address. Every evening I send out that email to our list letting you know your newsletter is ready to rock and roll. All right, guys, download those charts, grab your free pass, register for the newsletter mailing list, and don't forget, if you register for the mailing list or you grab the free pass, I'm going to send you an email verification to make sure that I have the correct email address and to make sure you're not a robot, of course, right? So make sure you check your inbox, your outbox, your spam, your junk, your trash, or whatever the heck other inboxes you have these days on your email accounts. Make sure you check to get that verification email. All right, guys? Boy, it feels good to be back here after a break here. Quadruple witching, the third week of March, one of the most challenging weeks of the year. I got a plan a move coming up here in the next week. I've been working on that right now, working on a new swing trading strategy for our students here at School of Trade. Get a lot of really great stuff we've been working on here during that quadruple witching. Hope you guys had some time to rest, relax, refocus, and get ready to kick some butt with me here this second quarter of 2015. Can't believe we're already talking about quarter number two. All right, let's start with gold here today. Gold is bullish. We can see a bull channel here. And fresh highs to confirm this trend is bullish, right? So we've got to clearly have the bull channel. In fact, we have a multitude of channels here today that we're going to talk about. We've got to get a long-term channel. We have a short-term channel. All of that, of course, defining for us here. We definitely have a bullish trend. But look closely here down at these lows, and you can see volume looked pretty, pretty iffy here. Got a new high there on gold, but if you look closely... Look closely there. Yeah, that's not that's not the volume spike. The volume spike actually 
right? That volume spike actually lines up with that low, almost as if people had taken profit there before the uh, the closing bell here this afternoon. So we definitely see we're bullish. But again, look closely on the gold and you're going to see opportunity here to stay patient and wait for a pullback. Smart traders, I know you guys are out there listening in. For all my smart traders out there, we're going to wait for a pullback to buy those dips on the way back up to, uh, are we going to get back to 1200 Yep, it looks like that's in the cards right now. It does look like it. You know, once we start to get in that vicinity, in, in, in my opinion, above 1190 below 1210 okay, you really got to start thinking on the goal, this 1200 big round number is going to start acting like a pretty nasty magnet. But again, don't forget, volume at the bottom here does not confirm this move higher. We're right running into a measured move. I don't care how you slice it. A, B, C, D long term. A, B, C, D short term. We got some areas of resistance overhead here. So definitely be careful being a buyer on gold. Buy those dips on the way to fresh highs. And you can see we got plenty of areas listed below for you to get long. And then a couple easy targets for you overhead. I would really like to get it on a pullback and then use that 1200 as my target. Use the top of the channel as a target. Use the measured move as a target and use the big round number as a target there if you're trading gold. What else we got here today? How about some price action on gold? Again, don't forget, we're going to continue to keep an eye on that 1200. In fact, we have a range expansion target there right now. We have measured moves and range expansion targets up at 1200. What's, what's price action telling us right now? Price action is also very bullish. We push higher inside of a bull channel. Okay, look closely. There's an undershoot of the high, not by much, just a little bit of an undershoot there at the highs. We will expect an overshoot in the opposite direction. So give it some room to breathe the downside before trying to take it higher here because of that undershoot. We'll expect an overshoot. If you're a member of mine, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so expect a deeper correction below before buying that pullback. And then check out the trading range, right? Check out the trading range. The trading range is a pretty decent clue here this evening. We've got a nice obvious trading range, double tops, double bottom, flat moving averages, overlapping candlesticks. Heck, you got a nice big bear trap to work with there, right? The bear trap, the breakout pullback. Okay, so you definitely can see we're bullish. The, the sellers didn't get anywhere, right, trying to break that low here. So definitely looking to the bull side right now. Where do you think we're going? Take out that trading range, copy and paste, copy and paste. This is what we call range expansions. We got range expansion 93.7, and then I think what's very, very important here is that range expansion all the way up just a little bit after 1200. 1200.4 is what I'm seeing on my chart right now. Give or take a few ticks, I would say 1200 is pretty darn important clue for us. And then we have another very interesting clue, kind of a double whammy here at that 93.7. You'll notice, and guys and gals at home, if you're following along at home, don't forget, when you look for those measured moves, make sure you start them at an extreme, right? So I'm not going to start drawing my measured move right there, right? I'm going to draw it off the extreme, right? The extreme low or the extreme high. So extreme low, draw it up, copy and paste it, draw it up, right? And so again, you see the same spot here, 93.7. Got two really big spots here overhead, 1,200 and 93.7 for various reasons, range expansion, measured move, uh, and big round number, right? So definitely can't definitely can't argue about those, okay? Only thing I want to remember, though, is, is that undershoot of the highs, now, no guarantee here, obviously, but be patient for a slightly deeper overshoot of those lows before looking for those, those, those juicy trades here, right? So definitely be looking for buying opportunities down in this area right there as we get that overcorrection right after the undershoot. All right, guys, keep an eye out for those buying opportunities there on the gold. Shall we keep going? I, I hope so. Let's grab the Russell, the mighty mini Russell. Boy, that didn't take very long for those buyers to get all perky once again. Remember, U.S. equities, they're the only game in town right now. And with a nice strong dollar, makes it very, very easy for folks to invest in U.S. equities. Remember, the Russell's going to be small caps. So this one's a little bit different than the S&P, which is the big, right, the big cap stocks. The NASDAQ, which is the technology stocks, right? 
This is the small cap stuff. So this is the stuff that gets affected the most. Usually it's the last one to jump on the bull bandwagon just because we saw what happened back in 2008, 2009 when all those small cap stocks went almost belly up. Okay, bottom line, check out the trend. What are we doing here? Russell's bullish. Russell is bullish. Easy to see, right? Sloped moving average, higher highs, higher lows, nice big strong bull channel. Okay, pretty easy to see we're bullish. Now what do we do? We want to buy support levels on the pullbacks as we go higher, right? Don't buy the highs, buy the pullback, buy the lows, buy at support levels. If you buy right now, you're buying at resistance. If we make new highs here overnight, look to buy the pullback using that 64.9, right? That'll be a very, very important clue. So one thing here is if as we go lower, we're looking to buy support. As we go lower, looking to buy support. As we go lower, looking to buy support. As we go lower, looking to buy support. Okay. If we go sideways, mark the range, highs and lows, stay on the side of the bulls, buy those lows. If we go sideways, buy those lows. And what if we go higher? If we go higher, you guessed it, breakout pullback, right? Breakout pullback range expansion up here at 72.2 that makes for a great target on the Russell and also too if you're wondering where would be the best buying opportunities you'll notice another case of the undershoots here again undershoot of the high of the channel we would expect a little bit deeper pullback right on that overshoot or overcorrection to the downside so we see the undershoot of the top we expected to pull back a little bit further so I am Definitely looking forward to sinking my teeth into a possible buying opportunity here at 12.3.6, 12.50.8. And again, if I had to guess right now, I'd say be looking out for that 12.50.2, right? Remember, we, we have this little trading range going on here. Copy and paste, copy and paste. Those range expansion levels are always, they always seem to find a way to sneak back into our trading plan or, or, or into the environment we're trading that day. So keep an eye on those range expansion levels. Buy the support level below. Take profit at the resistance level up above. All right, guys. Relatively easy there so far. Let's keep going. Looking pretty bullish here on the Russell. Let's zoom in on that trading range. Here's that trading range again. Right? Again, we have this got this trading range we talked about before, right? And we know that we're looking to buy that support sell the resistance and maybe not sell the resistance but take your profit off at the resistance okay well let's hone in more on that trading range now what are we seeing on this trading range do we have any clues here oh you better believe it we do take a look at this russell price action we're definitely seeing it turn sideways now when you see a sideways range like this, and don't forget, sideways ranges, they're going to happen all the time throughout the price action cycle. So we know that flat moving averages, double tops, double bottoms, overlapping candlesticks, usually the sign of big wicks, small bodies, right, range-bound candles. Usually that'll be the clue. I don't see as much right there. But this is definitely our trading range here right now. You can easily see one, two, three, test the lows. One, two, three, four, five, test the highs. Flat moving average. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. So most important thing is find that range, right? Uh, I shouldn't say most important thing. Most important thing is what's my trend going into the range? Trend is bullish. Second thing, trend goes sideways. Third thing, now we need a breakout. Now we need a breakout, right? And if you've taken my free trial, you've, you're probably hearing this in your dreams right now. Hopefully not your nightmares, of course. But if you've taken my trial, I teach you about this stuff, right, in that trial. Three steps to success. Step one, what's my trend? Trend is bullish. Step two, wait for that trend to go sideways. Find the range. Step number three, wait for the breakout. And how it breaks out will determine what my next step is going to be. So if we break out to the upside, let's play that game called what if we go higher? What if we go lower? What if we just go sideways? If we go higher, breakout pullback, right? I have three steps to the breakout pullback. True break, step one. True test, step two, entry trigger, step three, right? So we go to the high side here, break out, pull back, entry trigger, target, and target using, again, those range expansions, right? So take the size of the range here, copy-paste, copy-paste, really easy, right? 
Same thing on the downside. Copy paste. Copy paste. Very, very easy, right? It's child's play. Very, very easy stuff. And we teach you all this simple stuff here at School of Trade. But most importantly, though, we teach you how to profit from it, right? Anybody can teach you how to draw a trading range. I want to show you how to actually speak the language and know how to enter, exit, take profit, and do it and do it successfully. All right. Now, what if we go sideways here? So we talked about what if we go higher. What if we go sideways? If we go sideways, look to keep buying this low. Why? Because of the trend before we went sideways. So the trend is your friend, right? We know we're looking to go long here. I'm going to keep buying with what we call a trap. This will be the breakout trap. Every time we try to go lower, buy it right back in. Time to go lower, buy it right back in. Don't forget, though, wait for the trigger. Don't just close your eyes at the buy button, right? Wait for the proper trigger. And if you need more information on what that trigger, uh, on that, on what that trigger is, come out and see me tomorrow. I'll show you exactly how we enter into these trades. And then, of course, last but not least here, what if we go lower? If we go lower, we have to remember we're bullish. If we go lower, look for a fade, right? Look for a fade. So basically, the term fade describes as price is going lower, I'm trying to be a buyer. Or as price is going higher, I'm trying to be a seller. I'm going to err on the side of caution, be a buyer right now. And again, if I take my trading range, take that trading range, copy and paste, copy and paste, right? There are my range expansion levels there that are ripe for a fade. So we go lower, buy. We go lower, buy. Remember, don't just blindly close. Don't, you know, don't just blindly buy it. Wait for the reverse. Wait for the trigger. Okay, and as you can see here, those are two range expansion levels. I have no idea which one's going to be the big trade here for tomorrow. I'll be just like you. I'll be waiting to see how that market reacts at those areas at 1254.5 and 1250.6. All right, guys? So depending on how we break out of this range, and we most likely will, right? We spent pretty much the whole entire day today inside this range. So depending on how we break out of this range, that will determine whether I'm buying a pullback, trading a trap, or trading a fade. Okay? Keep in mind, you can download this chart. It's right below the video tonight. Last but not least here, how about that crude? How about that crude? Boy, I'll tell you guys, those buyers, they got, I don't want to say the word lucky, but boy, we were looking at we were looking right down the barrel of a $39 a barrel price. They got a little bit lucky that rollover came out and saved the day because instead of trading at 42, it put us at 46 because you pay for a premium in the future, right? That's the way these futures markets work, right? The next front month brought the prices up here and you really saw just a little bit of confusion today, right? And at the end of last week, right? I just I definitely was not trading in the last week for good reason. Thursday, Friday last week was was really danger, danger, danger zone that third week, end of the third week of March. So what I want you to remember is is that we have a bull channel right now, but that long-term trend is still down. So we are still going to be I don't want to say suspicious. But we're going to wait for the chart to tell us what to do. Okay, We know right now we have a relatively mild bullish trend. Believe me, I was looking for any excuse to say, ah, not so fast. But it was very difficult because look at the bottom. Even volume confirming right now. Now, we've seen this before, guys and gals. We've seen this before, right? The buyers, they get one glimmer of hope. And they mortgage the farm on this stuff. It's we've seen it a couple times now, right? Everybody starts everybody starts talking trash on stock twits. You know who you are, you bulls, right? Every time I mention the word bearish, I got I got hate mail right, from from all these very passionate bulls out there. I get it, I get it. But what I want to remind you right now is is even though we have a personal opinion of where things are going. I'm going to follow what this chart tells me. And right now, this chart tells me that we are a bull. I'm going to keep an open mind and follow my chart, right? Not what the media is trying to tell me or what the news radio is trying to tell me. I wouldn't be surprised if we're back at 50 by the end of the week here. I wouldn't be surprised at all. But I'm going to follow this chart. It's going to set me free. It's going to prevent me from overthinking this stuff. So what are we seeing? Higher highs? Yep. Higher highs in price, right? Not a very big higher high, but we definitely see a higher high in price. And if you look really closely, line up these highs here, you're going to see that volume spike really is that high, right? That volume spike is that high. So volume does confirm 
the move higher today. So we got higher highs confirmed by volume. Again, I would classify this as kind of a shallow trend, right? We're not really seeing much drama here to the upside like we saw to the downside just a week and a half ago, right? Remember that big tumble, those three days in a row we saw $3 each? Yeah, that was a little bit fun. So we're, we're definitely not seeing that spike higher right now, right? Like to complement the spike down we saw about a week and a half ago. But hey, again, very bullish here as you can see. So we got long-term channel and short-term channel. And we're looking for buying opportunities here. Only thing I don't like right now is, is I really don't want to buy up here, right? I don't want to buy these highs. I want to wait for price to come back. Now, look at this little trend line I drew in here, right? Don't, don't miss this one. This is, a good little, this is a good little clue right here. That's where you could definitely expect to see some bulls entering again. You know, these old trend lines that haven't been retested yet. We definitely got the break of it, but we haven't seen a retest of that trend line. So watch out for that little trend line coming down overhead. So watch that trend line, watch the midline, watch these trigger zones, right? The low of the channel. You know, again, bottom line, I have to be a bull right now until we stop making higher highs and higher lows. And even a pullback won't turn me into a bear. I won't I won't say we're bearish here until we see a retrace hold and go lower I won't call this a bear market on a pullback I will call it a bear market if that pullback the and then the buyers fail that's when we'll start to call this a bear market but we're not there yet we are nowhere near there so right now all we can do right now is stay patient wait for the pullbacks to be a buyer on crude I get a nice tasty target here right under 48 that's a measured move target. And if you look closely, guys, you can see this is a double whammy for the measured move here. Right? You get the big measured move, okay, from the big channel. And then you got the small measured move, which if you were listening to me earlier, you'll, you'll notice this is not really the best place to be drawing that measured move, right? If you're, you're probably screaming at the, at the screen right now saying, but Joe, you just told me here draw your measured moves off the extremes. Yep, you're absolutely right. So this secondary one, this smaller one, this is going to be a lot less powerful than the big one. But I thought it was just too it was too convenient not to mark it down, right? It won't be the strongest measured move ever seen, but it's definitely there and it definitely puts us right about that 48 area. Okay? Like I said, the only real trouble I have right now on crude oil is the fact that I just don't want to buy right here. I want to be a buyer, but I need to wait for a pullback here on crude. So, use those levels accordingly. And let's wrap up here with some price action. And on this price action chart, we get a lot more of the same stuff, but you'll notice the price action chart zooms in a little bit closer. And now we're going to get a little bit more of the fine details here. We lose a lot of the fine details on these charts by using those JJ bars, but we get better patterns because of it. This gives us a lot more uh, kind of details of what's happening, right? The wisdom hidden inside these candlesticks. So what are we seeing here to wrap things up? Crude oil is obviously bullish on the price action chart. We can see literally a trifecta of bull channels. you get got your long-term bull channel right there right there's your long-term bull channel right there there's your medium-term bull channel which is kind of the least attractive of them all because you'll notice we only have one high right there so it's kind of an unconfirmed bull channel right but we know we have at very least a trend line right at the very least there is two points rising pull back there at the very least that is a trend line it may not be a full channel but that would be your midterm trend line possible midterm channel and then of course we have this little guy right in the middle here and if you're if you're a member of mine if you're a student here at school of trade this should be telling us something right now because this channel broke the buyers still were able to hold it and they brought it all the way back up to a new high so we're likely and what I'd be looking for here is is look for a measured move on this right look for a measured move here okay so draw see where it says number one here use that as your starting point and look for a measured move it's tough to tell what's gonna look like overnight but tomorrow morning come back to your desk look for this to make a measured move and that will probably be our best option there for some buyer targets here on the crude couple things here though trading range this trading range definitely gives us some really important clues we saw one exactly like this in the Russell we had a bullish trend going into it we go sideways we see a trap at the low 
and now a breakout pullback. So definitely feel free to use 47.15. 47.15 is going to be a great spot there for a bullish uh, a buying opportunity on a breakout pullback. And then you got range expansion levels overhead. Excuse me, hiccups. Whatever you do, do not buy into those range expansion resistance levels. You can already see 47.61 is already held once. So the next time we try to push through it, it should have a lot easier job getting through that uh, range expansion resistance. Okay? So as always, what if price goes higher? What if price goes lower? If price goes higher, buying pullbacks. Just don't buy directly into that range expansion resistance. If price goes sideways, mark up the new range. Mark up the highs. Mark up the lows. We're in a bullish trend. Look to buy the lows, right? Air on the side of the buy side right now. And what if we go lower? If we go lower, look to buy in a pullback at 47.15, breakout pullback. If we go lower, look to buy the low of that range, 46.71. If we go even lower, look to buy that 46 and a quarter. And boy, oh boy, would that be a juicy buying opportunity there at 45.81 right buying the low of that major channel which just so happens to coincide with our range expansion support levels guys lots of channels on this chart lots of bulls on the on these charts tonight and and again lots of little short-term trading ranges so remember to use those ranges wisely know your breakout setups we teach you guys in the intermediate course here at school of trade and uh as always thanks so much for being here thanks for watching don't forget, you don't need to do this on your own, guys and gals. You can download all the charts right below the video here this evening. Have those ready to go. And guys, again, it's trading's a lot easier when you work with professionals, when you work in a community of traders that all are like-minded. I'd love to give you an invite to come out and see us in our trade room tomorrow as a guest. I've got a free pass there for you. And don't forget to join our nightly, our nightly newsletter mailing list. All right, guys? Don't forget, don't forget, before I let you guys go, join our free trial over here at School of Trade. We get the best free trial in the business. I'll prove it to you. All, all I need is your name and your email address, and I'll register you for our free trial. You're going to learn more in one week on my trial than you're going to learn anywhere else on the web, guys. I can pretty much guarantee that. Don't forget, three levels of membership, all lifetime memberships, and we have a full-time staff standing by 24-7, 365 to answer any of your questions. Hope you guys had a great quadruple witching break. It's a holiday around these parts. I hope you guys had some great time to rest, relax, refocus, and then get ready to re-engage with me here as we kick some tail in this second quarter of the year 2015. Guys, we're just getting started this week. You ready for some more tomorrow? Come out and see me in the trade room tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. If not, I will see you guys same time, same place, same bat time, same bat channel for all you old folks out there that know what I'm talking about. I know, right? We're getting old, guys. We're getting old. They don't even have rotary telephones anymore, right? Bat Batman who? You know what I'm talking about. All right, guys, get out of here. Rest up. I'll see you in the manana. My name is Joseph. Be well. Be nice to each other. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye for now.